Minecraft has already proven itself to be one of the most successful games of all time, and still shows no sign of slowing down under the newly shared custodianship of Mojang and Microsoft. In fact, the most recent update for Minecraft, Better Together, transforms the game into to the best version of itself yet naturally, when a game like Minecraft as well, everybody else wants to cash in on a slice of the lucrative survival crafting pie, and dozens upon dozens of titles have attempted to put their own stamp on the formula to varying results. This has unfortunately created a swathe of shovelware on PC and mobile, with the phrase early access survival crafting now tarnished by cheap imitations and shameless husks of the Minecraft formula, but for every barrel of bad apples, there's one rosy red granny smith of a game to be found one which can appeal to the Minecraft crowd while simultaneously offering a fairly novel and worthwhile experience in and of itself. Here are our favorite picks of the bunch, why it's similar the forest drops you in the middle of the wilderness quite literally you crash a plane and forces you to craft weapons and shelter to survive against an apparently nocturnal tribe of cannibals. It's totally like playing Minecraft if Minecraft's creepy hissing spiders were bloodthirsty savages trying to eat you. What makes it unique, the forest is far scarier than Minecraft would ever want to be. There's a real green inferno vibe underscoring the whole thing, what with you being lost in the wilderness scavenging for food, building shelter from the weather, and fighting off aggressive club-toting locals. But what makes the forest truly terrifying is when the natives get the upper hand, knocking you out and dragging you back to their underground lair. You wake up trapped in the darkness with a lighter that barely works, surrounded by a zoo's worth of horrific creatures waiting to pounce on you from the shadows. Welp. Play it on PC why it's similar in its ridiculously popular online sandbox Roblox lets you create just about anything that you can think of. Want to build a massive skyscraper only to watch it blow up in spectacular fashion, or host a disco party complete with flashing lights and an on-stage DJ go for it. The world is yours to do what you will with it, and the possibilities are endless thanks to the game's intricate editing tools. What makes it unique Roblox puts a huge focus on the social aspects of building and dismantling with friends. Virtually everything in the world is created by the players, making the game perfect for those who enjoys the team camaraderie of construction. There are already thousands of player-created worlds with themed communities and many lofty building goals, so hop in now if you want to partake in the madness. Play it on PC, Xbox One, iOS, and Android why it's similar if it WASNT for the realistic in-game water, you'd probably mistake Terrasology for Minecraft itself. The game has all of the aesthetic elements of Mojang's original trend starter, right down to the blocky hands and punchable cubes of dirt. What makes it unique Terrasology is an open source game, so if you're someone who likes to dive right in and contribute to the development and expansion of a community project, it's a win-win scenario. Aside from world destruction and building elements of Minecraft, Terrasology does boast its own unique features, including the ability to build up armies of loyal minions to defend your works. The game is under constant development, too, so there's no telling how it might change and evolve going forward. Play it on PC why it's similar many a tree will be slaughtered on your way to building shelter when first starting out in the world of Terraria. But it's a necessary sacrifice much like in Minecraft, there are things that go bump in the night. Things that would very much like to slay you, actually, even as you try to figure out what to do with your steadily increasing pile of natural and supernatural resources, what makes it unique variety is the name of the game in Terraria. Naturally, this means there are many ways to die, but this also gives you more options when it comes to disposing of the encroaching evil. Crafting is more than just a means of security against the persistent dangers of the world, but opens up avenues for discovering Terraria's many layers of secrets and rewards. Play it on PC, Xbox One, PS4, PS Vita, Nintendo Switch, 3DS, iOS and Android why it's similar although it's a strategy game. Castle Story's strong focus on tactically overpowering your enemies doesn't mean you won't also be building all manner of structures in the process. The need to partake in mass deforestation is also a shared trait with Minecraft, but it's all for a good cause that good cause being an impenetrable castle entirely made out of wooden blocks. What makes it unique castle story focuses heavily on your character's strategic operations and, as with most real-time strategy games, you'll have to send out troops to gather resources. 
Instead of simply clicking on an icon to build something, however, players actually get to design their own defenses, in what quickly turns into a wonderfully addictive marriage of creativity and tactics. Play it on PC why it's similar with all the larger scale construction going on, it's easy to forget that Minecraft features the chance to indulge in the underrated joys and small victories of owning and caring for a garden, or even a full-blown farm. Stardew Valley is an entire game revolved around that very same idea, what makes it unique in contrast to Minecraft. Players in Stardew Valley can get to know their local community of fictional characters, and even spark up a romance with some of their neighbors if they want to. The game also takes inspiration from the likes of Animal Crossing and hardcore shooters as much as it does Minecraft, if you can believe it, and that hybridity of form keeps it from leaning too heavily into one single genre. Play it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One why it's similar the clues in the title, really. While Minecraft with dinosaurs is probably a little too reductive of a description, it certainly gives you an idea of what to expect from Ark Survival Evolved. You gain consciousness on the beaches of a mysterious island chock full of Jurassic beasts, but it's not long before your skills in crafting and combat come in handy in the quest to become king of the jungle. What makes it unique? Name me one other game that lets you poop on command, and then use that poop as firewood. I D I D N T think so. Ark is a game obsessed with Darwinism and the hierarchy of nature, too, where you slowly make your way up the food chain, metamorphosing from a position of naked prey into that of an apex predator. It slowly becomes less of a survival game and more of a power fantasy, emulating the concept of evolution in a way that few other titles have play it on PC. PS4, and Xbox One Why its similar cube world has its roots in crafting and character progression, and takes place in randomly generated worlds full of blocks as far as the eye can see. There's a strong focus on cosmetic customization, with characters able to modify their armor and other wearables for the sake of fabulous self-expression. What makes it unique? Imagine the love child of Minecraft and the Legend of Zelda series raised by Super NES era action RPGs. Inspired by exploration-heavy games, Cube World gives players an arsenal of skills to better help them trudge through the endless world. Choosing a class and specialization for combat turns the game from a simple exploration simulator into a meaty RPG adventure, packed with missions, bosses, and creepy caves to explore. Play it on PC why it's similar it's a voxel game, so Trove's resemblances to Minecraft are immediately apparent, at least from a visual point of view. Try and World's action-oriented MMO features mines and caverns crawling with enemies and the promise of untold rewards, letting players team up with friends to progress their character and conquer Trove's sizable Toto list. What makes it unique Trove is more concerned with being an MMO than a Minecraft clone, with its extensive range of classes designed to facilitate and encourage variation in playstyle. Its employment of loot, bosses and dungeons again draws from the will of RPG tropes to deviate from the conventions of its aesthetic inspiration. Play it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One why it's similar the tagline for Starbound is a pretty good summation of what to expect survive, discover, explore, and fight. Beyond that, an infinite universe means there are loads of possibilities in its generous heapings of 2D coop gameplay, not least when it comes to shaping the world and discovering new locations to set up shop. What makes it unique like all good stories, Starbound is more about the journey than the destination. Exploring the game with friends whether it's just a farm, try your hand at space exploration, or create weaponry for quests is designed to be enjoyable in itself, rather than just a means to an end. While it is an open-ended experience, the addition of quests and NPCs imbues the game with contextual purpose, unlike the narrative-free adventuring of Minecraft. Play it on PC why it's similar there are a few things associated with survival and scavenging more than the horror of having to survive a zombie outbreak, and Seven Days to Die leans heavily into those apocalyptic sentiments. The realistic, dark world may not look like other sandbox games made in the same vein, but that doesn't mean it shies away from the genre's tried and true gameplay staples. Scavenging, crafting traps, and building shelters are all well represented here, as is the likelihood of catastrophic failure. What makes it unique? Some of Seven Days to Die's best and scariest moments are experienced when putting together a shelter. It's essential to not becoming a meal, and unnerving if you're not sure your meek fortifications will hold up. 
What turns the proceedings into a real fright fest is when the blood moon rises on every seventh night, which brings a relentless horde of faster, stronger zombies right to your doorstep. Play it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Why it's similar survival crafting and science fiction collide in this world builder that looks one part Halo and two parts Minecraft gathering resources for base construction and surviving on an alien planet to just the tip of the iceberg in Starforge a uniquely ambitious take on the sandbox survival genre. What makes it unique Starforge ISNT just a game about building and survival it also involves shooting aliens in a living, breathing world where not even the sky's the limit. There's looting, defending bases with friends, and connecting your planet to the outer cosmos to build space stations that would put NASA to shame. Play it on PC why it's similar the Battle Royale genre is now a hugely popular scene, but the Minecraft community had been messing around with Hunger Games style battles long before it was cool. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is the first big-time evolution of that concept, and deals with the same ideas of Darwinism and player experimentation as Minecraft, albeit in a very different format. What makes it unique its genre, mainly? PUBG deals solely in mass online PvP firefights from a third-person perspective, with military guerrilla-style warfare acting as the main course of gameplay for its participants. While both Minecraft and PUBG are made from the same style of cloth, then, they work out from radically different ends of it. Play it on PC why its similar defense is a matter of life and death in Block Fortress, where the strength of your barracks is tested by an endless onslaught of enemy hordes. For the player, that means most of your time will be spent constructing armaments, walls, and other features to make the sturdiest, most robust base possible. The scope of construction is limited only by your intuition and the ability to mine valuable resources as quickly as possible. What makes it unique this mobile game combines three genres first-person shooter, tower defense, and sandbox. After fortifying the barracks, it's time to equip weapons and smite foes via the enjoyable mechanics of block fortress gunplay. Each of the three genres holds their own as far as gameplay goes, creating a mashup that totally works. Play it on iOS and Android why it's similar the creeper will always remain the king when it comes to survival crafting scares, but don't starve's consortium of creatures come pretty close to dethroning that Minecraft icon. The similarities also extends to Don't Starve's emphasis on staying alive through the crafting of tools and shelter, despite your incredibly limited resources. What makes it unique? The wonderfully gothic aesthetic looks like a children's book fused with an HP Lovecraft tale and, as the title implies, Cly Entertainment's roguelike uses hunger as merely the first challenge for players to race against in a tough-as-nails survival experience. Staying nourished has never been so intense, and fire has never been a greater friend. Play it on PC, PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS Vita, Wii U, iOS, and Android. Why it's similar the freedom to design and build a castle is just as fun here as it is in Minecraft. You'll dig into it the medieval land around your abode, and generally use the environment to fend off invading players. Both the rewards of construction and hilarity of destruction are where King Arthur's gold excels. What makes it unique with up to 32 players in multiplayer, King Arthur's gold can become ferociously chaotic, but always in a good way. Players will have to learn how to properly utilize the three classes, while also getting used to the physics of the game's combat tools, like the catapult. Also, there are sharks, and sharks are awesome. Play it on PC why it's similar LEGO Worlds is based heavily on Minecraft, which itself takes a lot of inspiration from LEGO itself, so yeah, you could say these two games have quite a bit in common. You can destroy and build on mass in LEGO Worlds, tearing down entire environments in one foul swoop to build fantastical structures using its suite of robust crafting tools. What makes it unique? Well, for starters, there's a campaign mode, collectibles, classic LEGO-style gameplay, and a wonderfully theatrical Peter Serafinovich narrating the whole thing. LEGO Worlds brings that classic LEGO charm to the genre that it's partly responsible for creating, which lends the game an infectious quality that manages to constantly charm the pants off of anyone messing around in its brick-based biomes. Play it on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch why it's similar get dropped into a cruel world with no direction or instruction. 
die, die some more. Eventually, you'll slowly figure out how to survive by crafting weapons, gear, and makeshift shelters in your bid to avoid harm from other players, not to mention the radiation and weather hazards of the land itself. What makes it unique quite unlike Minecraft, Rust is an experiment in the depravities of human nature. On the one hand, that means your recently spawned avatar may die a lot by the hands of not Sonis raiders. On the other, less bloody hand, a helpful group of like-minded players can make the adventure of survival a rewarding team effort. It's not for everyone, but credit where credit is due to Face Punch Studios for making a game that has no time for kitschiness. Play it on PC why it's similar for anyone who takes satisfaction from the risk-reward dynamic of survival crafting games, but is burnt out on the first-person style gameplay which first originated with Minecraft, there's a good chance the flame in the flood will be right up your alley. What makes it unique? Unlike most survival games, you're constantly on the move in the flame in the flood, heading downstream in a washed-out USA to find the source of a radio signal. This figurative and literal flow of pace, in addition to the ambient visuals and folksy soundtrack, allows Flame in the Flood to really stand out, making it well worth its comparatively higher asking price. Plus, who doesn't like the idea of a loyal dog for a companion in these trying times? Play it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One why it's similar an underground labyrinth is in need of exploration and mining, and Craft the World leaves a group of dwarves under your command to find what they need to construct fantastic fortresses. Once done with their days-long construction project, it's time to craft weapons, items, ammunition and more via the in-game library of simple recipes. What makes it unique in short, it's the dwarves. Aside from controlling a single character, a group of Earthwing homunculi are forever at your disposal to help with a variety of tasks. Need some extra muscle order them to fend off approaching baddies. How about some setting up some traps give a couple clicks here and there, and you can send them on the merry way. Play it on PC why it's similar if Minecraft first popularized the concept of procedural generation. No Man's Sky took that idea and launched it sky high and with a great expanse. You're not exploring a single world, but over 18 quintillion planets, though that familiar survival crafting loop is alive and well here there's just spaceships and aliens involved now too, what makes it unique it's mind-blowing scope, for one. No Man's Sky's systems might not be quite as robust or entertaining as those enjoyed in Mojang's randomly generated biomes, but you're never going to play something quite as absurdly operatic as this. 2016 PlayStation exclusive. Bored with a planet no need to create a new world, just hop into your spaceship and fly to another one. Play it on PC and PS4 why it's similar as an open world RPG from Bethesda. Fallout 4 probably doesn't immediately strike you as a spiritual spin-off to Minecraft, but hear me out. Its settlement system, in which you can dismantle structures to acquire resources and build wondrous bases, boasts all the hallmarks of classic Minecraft gameplay, and Bethesda HASNT been shy of expressing its fondness for that franchise in the past. What makes it unique, the reality is that Fallout 4's settlement feature is just a small part of a much larger game, and you can completely ignore it if you want to. But experimentation with Fallout 4's assortment of crafty contraptions brings its own unique rewards that can't be found anywhere else. Play it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One wide similar players can join you in Junk Jack Online for friendly crafting and exploring a devious killing and trapping in this pixelated 2D playground. You just never know what's going to happen if you dig too deep a venture far from home, but it usually ends in death. What makes it unique? Many games of this ilk tend to plop players down into a new world and let them run wild. Junk Jack takes a different approach. A lengthy tutorial introduces the premise and helps newcomers really understand the nuances of the game, while a simply crafting system using item recipes also helps usher in less experienced players. That simplicity doesn't come at a sacrifice to purpose either, which arrives in the form of several in-game goals to accomplish. Play it on PC why it's similar you begin Fortnite wielding a giant pickaxe, which you can use to whack against trees, rocks and basically anything else to break down for materials in your quest to build the coolest fortress ever. 
That fortress will need to be set up post haste too, as zombies are on the march, and they're looking to destroy everything within the path. What makes it unique as a new IP from the team behind the Gears of War franchise, Fortnite boasts far superior gunplay and third-person controls compared to its other early access competitors on the market. What's more, the game's recently released, free-to-play Battle Royale mode is the closest thing to console PUBG yet, making it an easy pickup for anyone interested in what happens when survival crafting meets PvP, play it PC, PS4, and Xbox One Why it's similar the voxel world of survival craft and the dangers within it aren't anything unheard of to the average survival crafting fan, and its in-game list of goals will be instantly recognizable, but that doesn't make this slick-looking sequel any less fun. What makes it unique Survival Craft 2 flourishes through its pinpointed focus on dogged survival. Players are dropped off on a deserted chunk of rock to fend for themselves, with factors like stamina and food underscoring the gameplay with a healthy dose of tension. Heck, even getting some shut eye is important, or else you run the risk of passing out. You certainly would NT find that in Minecraft, play it on PC, iOS, and Android it may feel daunting to jump into a sandbox game without any sense of direction or specific purpose, but the survival crafting genre appeals through the rewards of player productivity. The strange wonders of exploring the unknown, crafting a useful tool for the first time, and even surviving for an hour longer than your last record is what makes these games. So enrapturing and addictive, thankfully, there's enough variation beyond the Minecraft mania to provide a healthy slice of crafting to anyone willing to give it a shot. Are there any games you think we've missed here? Let us know in the comments below.